2335 BC, 1560 AM. The Sumerian king list records that Etana Enoch ruled for 1560 years before the flood, but this is a chronological mistake. The duration of pre-flood history from man's banishment in 3895 BC was 1656 years, 414 times 4, but the 1560 discrepancy derived from the fact that 1560 is 130 months, and Enoch ruled over 130 kings and princes. The Sumerian scribes erred, however. This date does indeed appear to be significant to the Anunnaki. It is 1104 years, 552 plus 552, after the Anunnaki descended to earth in 3439 BC, and 504 years, 6048 months is 864 times 7, after the Anunnaki dynasty began. 2325 BC, 1570 AM. Egyptian priest historian Manetho of Alexandria wrote that ten rulers after Thoth, Enoch, reigned for 1570 years until a very chaotic period when government and historical records ceased, Great Flood. This is a fragment concerning the pre-flood world's ten patriarchs. The same story remembered in Plato's narrative about the ten kings of Atlantis. This old Egyptian 1570 years is similar in duration to the Sumerian king list's 1560 years. 2313 BC, 1582 AM, 2nd Mayan Bakhtun complete, 288,000 days, from start of the Mayan calendar in 3113 BC, being 800 years. This is 888 months to the Great Flood, 74 years. 888 being a golden proportion number. 2309 BC, 1586 AM. This was the 600th year since 2909 BC, when the Anunnaki matriarch established her rule over the Cainites, and 520 years, 52 times 10, after the Nephilim sons of this matriarch established their own dynasty over the Sethites. These seven called the Seven Kings. This is the 40th year of the reign of Enmundurana of Sippar, the sixth king of the Nephilim dynasty. This year begins both the giant wars and the antediluvian apocalypse. A plague afflicts the world and the earth is teeming with humans and hybrids. The Nephilim progeny of the Anunnaki, the hybrid giants, are discontent with the state of the empire, believing that the myriads of millions of humans are responsible for the food shortage. The Anunnaki hybridization programs had created races of gigantic people, too numerous to be controlled. The giants multiplied, but the Anunnaki did not. Just as the Anunnaki rebelled against their father, the Eternal One, so too did their own sons, the Nephilim, rebel against them. The apocalypse occurred during the reign of the seven kings before the flood, just as a similar apocalypse would again transpire during the reign of seven kings, Nephilim overlords, in the future, 21st century AD. Many among the giants turned to cannibalism and humans were now a food source. 2291 BC, 1604 AM. The seventh king of the Nephilim dynasty of the seven kings is Uburatu of Shurapak, a city that Noah had lived in. Uburatu would reign 18,600 shahs, evenings and mornings, or 51.6 years to the Great Flood in 2239 BC. 51 years and 240 days. The 240 days of Uburatu's reign added to the 120 days of his predecessor's reign complete the final year, 360 days. Uburatu's reign will be cut off by the deluge, which involves planet Phoenix in 2239 BC. But as the seventh king, he will reappear in the future of the 21st century AD in the Apocalypse in 2052 AD, as described in the Revelation account, where the eighth king is of the seven. In the year 2046 AD, Nibiru will nearly collide into Earth and alter its orbit around the sun during an invasion of Anunnaki, the Revelation text relating that a third of the day and night would be reduced because Earth's spin rate is increased. Thus, the ancient 360-day year in the future after 2046 AD would become 240 days. Interestingly, the ancient Persians believed that the historic time before the flood saw the rulership of the Abad dynasty, 
known for avarice, murder, vice, and the total collapse of civilization. This perfectly reflects the Revelation account, which calls this seventh king Abaddon. He is the destroyer. The Jewish calendar seems to embody this wickedness, in that 1380 is 10 orbits of Phoenix at 138 years each. This date is 52 years before the flood. 1. Round Towers of Atlantis 2283 BC, 1612 AM The ancient records on the golden tablets translated for King Philippus in 498 BC claim that in this year the texts upon the tablets were copied from off of the surfaces of the Great Pyramid to preserve for future posterity after the flood. This is consistent with other traditions about Noah preserving records and many references among old writings that claimed that the surfaces of the pyramids at Giza were covered in texts. This was the 556th year of Noah, the 54th year of Shem. 1. The origin and significance of the Great Pyramid. 2281 BC, 1614 AM. The Anunnaki homeworld Nibiru reaches Aphelion, far out in the Kuiper Belt, the furthest distance it travels from the sun. It was last in the inner system 366 years priorly in 2647 BC and now begins its 366 year journey back toward the inner system below the ecliptic. 2254 BC, 1641 AM. Traditional date for the Chinese flood in which Fu He, Noah, survived. This demonstrates that the Chinese knew that Fu He lived for hundreds of years, for they believed him to have been born in 2944 BC. The Chinese date is only 15 years off, and we find here evidence that the ancient Chinese were aware about planet Phoenix, which initiated the flood disaster. They ascribe a life to Fu He of 690 years, 2944 to 2254 BC. 690 being five orbits of Phoenix at 138 years each. 1. The Great Pyramid, its divine message.